Richard Mallory's body is found in December 1989. In June of 1990, men in Florida begin to go missing at the rate of about one per month. 43-year-old David Spears from Orlando was found shot to death. His truck was discovered along I-75 in Marion County. First thing that happened in the investigation that drew me into it was when our patrol division had come upon a abandoned vehicle on I-75 southbound. I'm Brian Jarvis, and during the Aileen Wernos investigation, I was the major crime supervisor for the Marion County Sheriff's Office. When they ran the VIN number on the vehicle, it came back to a reported missing person by the name of David Spears. David Spears was a construction worker who had been missing for two weeks. He had been shot six times with a 22 caliber pistol. I'm Jack Kasowitz. I'm a private investigator. As an investigator, I deal with drug-related crimes all the time. What was unique here with David Spears, he was found nude. Two months after the discovery of David Spears, a woman in Ocala receives a disturbing phone call. My sister-in-law, Sharon, called me about 9, 30, 10 o'clock. And she said, Letha, Troy hasn't come home yet. And I'm worried. My name is Letha Prater. I'm Troy Burris's sister. My brother, Troy, he was my best friend all my life. We were very close. And when she told me he hadn't come in, I immediately knew there was something bad wrong. There was a couple of people that had come up to have a, a picnic at one of the popular lakes here in Marion County. They noticed something off in the weeds that, that didn't look like it belonged there. It turned out to be Troy Burris's badly decomposed body. I loved him so much. I just couldn't imagine being without him. Oh, look, is that cute? <laughs> and he was gone and he was killed and it wasn't necessary. We now have three middle-aged white men who have all been robbed and shot to death with a 22 caliber pistol spread out across central Florida. This was just the beginning. 